What is going on guys, this is Chaotic Videos, and today I'm bringing you a Battlefield 1 guide. This guide is going to be on the Elite Class Sentry. Um, elite Classes are special pickups, or troops, you can actually acquire in-game, um, but only a limited amount. And uh, this is one of those classes. Um, the only way you can actually get Elite Classes is you have to go to certain spawn locations and pick them up before somebody else does. Only one Elite Class, or one specific type of Elite Class, is available per game at any time. So let's say if you have one, the enemy cannot pick it up unless you die, and then the respawn time for that is 5 minutes after death. The sentry itself is actually equipped with full metal armor, um, he has also a metal face mask which is actually a full helmet, um, it pretty much acts like a full helmet though it does not look like it. He is armored everywhere, there's no weak spots. Um, he also has a water cooled light machine gun that can pretty much has 1200 bullets, it can pretty much shred anything to bits. Um, so yeah, this is that wonderful wonderful elite class, so uh, have fun with them boys. In order to get him, you actually have to go all the way to the F capture point. It's actually right by the ammunition depot, and it's located right next to the flag. Just go down here into this little bunker area, and uh, next to that, you're going to see a nice little crate with this symbol, and it's going to tell you hold to pick up MG08-15, and that is the actual sentry class. Go ahead and hold R, and uh, you're going to be equipped with it. The actual sentry class can shoot up to 55 I want to say or no um, 45 bullets and sometimes a little more um, non-stop without having to cool down uh, once you go over that limit you're just gonna have to take a nice little second or two to cool down and then keep on shooting his reload speed is also not the best guy so be careful about that another cool thing he also is equipped with a grenade and also a melee weapon though he does not have a pistol no pistols for him or any other type of equipment. So you're pretty much vulner vulnerable out there if uh, you happen to reload and an enemy just happens to pop up and he's pretty far away. If he's close enough, just go ahead and bash him with a nice little club. Another bad thing about him, he is actually vulnerable to the bayonet charge, as uh, described here. Whether it be in the front, in the back, or in the sides, he will get killed by one bayonet charge, which is kind of a little OP on that end. I figured if he has full metal armor, he should be at least protected from one end, but uh, no, he's not. Good things about him, I'm going to tell you, he's heavily armored from head to toe, 1200 rounds in the light machine gun, he does have a grenade, he can ride vehicles and use artillery just like a regular infantry. The more you shoot with the uh, light machine gun, the more accurate it becomes, so that's pretty handy. And he's also one of a kind. The bad things, you can get bayonet charged, you're vulnerable to grenades, the metal armor does not protect you from those, you're very slow on movements, you have no secondary, very slow reload speed, horrible horrible accuracy, and you can't use a gas mask. So if an enemy shoots a gas, ma uh, gas grenade at you, you're pretty much screwed. Unless you run away real quick. And also there's a 5 minute respawn timer after death. So you're not going to be playing much if you die much. Best tactic I recommend guys is shoot, run away, reload, and shoot again. And stay within C. Stay within close quarters. Within buildings you can uh, get around. Tanks will destroy you. You have no protection against tanks. And yeah guys, that's pretty much it. 